good morning. This is Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing, and uh, we've been talking about uh, the five things that affect us uh, or that are very important in running thin kerf bandsaw mills and bandsaw blades. And the five things we start with our little finger is uh, sharp, set, flat, roller guides, and then the alignment of our bandsaw wheels. And we've talked about the first three, so today uh, we're talking about roller guides. And uh, very important, the roller guides, are there's two of them on each mill, and they're what set on the uh, bandsaw blade, and they're what uh, gives you your alignment, or part of your alignment. And uh, it's very important. Uh, we build these, band, uh, these roller guides. Uh, they are hardened, special hardened, and uh, they will wear out over time. That's why we harden them. Uh, but it's, it's important to have roller guides that are in real good shape. And we have adjustment on the mill, and probably when I, when, uh, in our next video, we'll be standing at a sawmill talking about vertical alignment. And I'll touch on uh, the roller guys there too, so you can see them set up on the mill. But they actually adjust and, and can tilt up or down uh, on the uh, bandsaw blade. So that get, helps us to be able to control the blade, and there'll be one on each side, and so that it's sawing straight away in the cut, parallel with uh, the bunks of your, of your sawmill. Obviously, if your blade is tilted down, and I'm exaggerating this, then it's going to try to go down. That's why we talk about uh, first reaction in the cut. In other words, if you're sawing along and the blade moves out of the, the direct straight cut, did it go down first or did it go up first? And all these things help us put together in our mind uh, so that we can help you uh, uh, figure out what's going on. Sometimes it can be the blade, sometimes we go, have you replaced your roller guides? Now, I'll be honest with you, everybody says my roller guides are in good shape, it's kind of interesting. But over time, if you'll take you a, a straight edge, I'm just using the back of this blade, and lay on uh, the roller guide, uh, you can kind of see that it starts tapering off. And, and it's all according to how many hours uh, that you're putting on uh, your meal. Uh, of course, if you're not putting a lot of hours with the blade running across there, then it's not wearing as much. But we are holding this thing mostly, uh, it's all the way across, but a lot of that pressure is right near the front of the blade and on the edge of this. That's why we have a little bit thicker ring there uh, so that it holds up a little longer. But over time, that will wear out. And uh, the numbers vary. I would just say check your, your, your uh, roller guys from time to time. Uh, I know people that run in a lot and will say, you know, six months or three months maybe you need to change them. But if you're not running that much, um, then you may, they may last you for a year or two or three or five. Uh, but, but they are very important because that is what uh, adjusts your alignment. Another thing to know is if that roller guide gets stopped, piece of bark or something jams in behind it or, or ever how it, that can happen, you haven't greased it enough, and it stalls, it doesn't take but 20 or 30 seconds, and that will put a flat spot on your roller guide, almost like you ground it. It is amazing, even though it's hard, it will do that very quickly, uh, high friction there. Uh, this, this roller guide is turning, if you're, and we've talked about feet speed per minute, if you're turning in the 5,000 feet range, this roller guide, the barrel of it we call it, uh, is about two inches. Well, that's spinning at almost 10,000 RPM. Uh, everything about these blades and roller guys is really going fast. And uh, so we have to have small bearings in here to, for this to spin on, so that's a lot of speed in there. That's why we like the, the regreasable bearings. And uh, we like to grease those uh, kind of at the end of the, at, in the middle of the day, uh, and then at the end of the day, just to pump more to, it will keep fresh grease, but to make sure there's no uh, water or diesel fuel that's carrying any uh, impurities into those little bearings in there uh, because they are spinning so fast. Now we make a mega roller guide uh, that's about four inches in diameter and uh, the advantage of that is it slows it down and we can put bigger bearings in it. Uh, the disadvantage is it takes a little bit more room to put bigger stuff in there and that's why ever you know you try to go small as you can to get as much width and those types of things in there. But uh, the roller guides are very important. These are high quality. We sell uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of these every year. 
Uh, they are a wear item that, that goes out and it's something to check. If you're having problems, it's one of the five things that uh, we would ask you to check. And, and even though you may have changed it even, say, last month, look at that thing and make sure it doesn't have a flat side. If it's a flat side, just a little caveat here that goes with it, it's going to be pop, 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 hitting on that uh, blade and it will cause br blade breakage. Uh, any vibrations to the blade, whether it's the band wheels, uh, or the roller guides or anything else that's causing vibrations to the blade, uh, it, it shortens blade life and is a detriment to your sawing. So that's some pointers about uh, roller guides and we'll be looking at uh, vertical band wheel alignment next.